Hey everyone, um, if you hear whining in the background, don't worry, that's just Leah. Oh, hold on, you fell over. And I fixed you. But, um, I do have some sad news. It's going to be a short, a little short video. But, um, yesterday was a good day. Um, it was Easter and had a bunch of Easter family pictures made and everything. And I had little Hammy and was playing with him and everything. And it was just a good day. And he was feisty. He's running around climbing his cage, you know, just having fun. Well, I went to bed last night and he laid in a certain spot. And, um... Then when I woke up this morning, he was in the same spot. Well, then later the this afternoon, uh, earlier this afternoon to me right now, but anyways, besides all that, he was in the same spot and he wasn't wanting to eat. Well, I just got home and I got him out of his cage. He was in a different spot. Got him out of his cage. Chloe, come in here. But, um, and, uh, went and I made him some more milk. And, guys, he's not eating. Um, he's not touched his milk that's in the cage. And give me one second. Chloe. Come on. No, you can't go in the bathroom. But he wasn't eating that. And I was like, well, let's go in here and try to syringe feed him. Well, I opened his mouth and obviously was... First, I healed the syringe to his nose, let him smell it. Um, he didn't change like actively and um he just I opened his mouth I put a little bit in there and you can tell he's having a hard time he tried to swallow a little bit of it but the majority of it he would spit out and it would just run down the side of his little face but um I'm going to show you what he looks like he is not dead he is in the process of dying as sad as that is to say um, I've tried all I can, and apparently I just couldn't do enough for this little guy. I wish wildlife would have got a hold, would have answered, or could have got a hold of him, or whatever, or they, at least they call back, because this guy probably would have been able to thrive better and end up being released into the wild soon, but... I'm going to advise you now, the way he is, he is very weak. And um, if you don't want to see that, I advise you to go ahead and skip forward or go ahead and just exit the video. Because if you don't want to see a poor little weak baby squirrel, then this is not the video for you. But, um, oh, I dropped something. There it is. Hold on. But I do strongly believe he's not going to make it through the night. I do strongly believe he's not going to make it through the night if he makes it through the next couple of hours. But it is sad. And I'm trying to choke back the tears. Because, honestly, I've grown to touch this little guy. But. He still flicks his tail. He just won't walk. He won't climb. He won't eat. And he stays balled up in a little ball. But. If you're not going to 
Like, if, if you're one of the ones that is going to click off this video or skip, if you click off, make sure you do like, you comment, and you subscribe. Stay safe, stay, stay, stay safe, stay strong, make a difference. But if you are still with me and are wanting to see how he is currently, then I'm getting ready to show you. Here he is. He is still breathing. He still moves a little bit. But he's like, if you look at him, he's really weak. You see, other than, other than those, little two, those little few kicks, it usually kick me a lot more. But you can look at his eyes and see how weak he is. They're not open all the way. And it just goes right back into a ball. But. Yeah guys. He's. Sadly going to pass. But. I am going to keep this video going. Until he does take his last little breath. And I will inform you all. When it was. He is currently four weeks old. Um, and was found. March 30th. And it is currently April 5th. And. If he does make it. Or if he does pull through. He's a miracle squirrel. That's for sure. But. Stay tuned and. You'll know the outcome. Hey everyone. Um, it has currently been an hour. Um, and I don't think he's made it. I'm not going to show you all because I don't want to put you through that. He's still very barely alive. Um, he's barely moving. But yeah, he's He's not going to pull through, guys. So, I'm just going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, I tried uh, I'm going to hold him in the last few moments. And let him be with me. Um, I've got him right here, guys. But, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and, um, well, I know it's a sad video, but make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe. Um, send some prayers, because this is hard on me. So I tried my hardest for this little guy. So, stay strong, stay safe, make a difference. Bye for now. Hey, I know I just ended the video. But, I wanted to let you know, it's like probably 15 minutes after I ended the video. He took his last breath. So what I'm going to do is I have this sock that he usually slept in. And um, I'm going to uh, put him in it. And then husband and I are 
gonna get a little box and we're gonna lame the rest um it is a sad situation but who knows when he fell out of his nest like hold on when he fell out of his nest six days ago who knows he could have done some damage then and it just now hit him but make sure you like you comment and you subscribe make sure you share with your friends and family um my channel um stay strong stay safe make a difference